things to keep in mind while trying to identify this appliance is firstly the acrylic component and second the wire components okay so if you see the option here it says bite block now bite block is an acrylic portion which is present between the dentition which helps to open up the dentition okay so it opens the dentition it can be inclined or it can be flat now it is usually given with almost all of the functional appliances because it helps in the selective eruption and guidance of the teeth okay so it helps to bring about the dental corrections now a uh, bite plane like a, a bite block like a bite plane they can be two types right they can be an anterior bite plane or a posterior bite plane now anterior bite plane is usually given in deep bite cases and posterior bite plane is usually given when there is an anterior cross bite and we want to open up the occlusion okay now when an anterior bite plane is given it is usually uh, banded onto the molars and a posterior bite block is usually cemented onto the molars okay so from the image we know that this is not a bite block now twin block so if you see here there are this acrylic component actually has a demarcation between it there is an anterior portion okay and there is a posterior portion so there are two blocks so this is a twin block now why i asked you to keep the uh, metal or the wire components in mind is because if you see the option consists of an activator now why are these clasps given okay so clasps are usually given to retain an appliance onto the teeth right so they help to hold the appliance in place the philosophy of the activator is that it's a loose fitting appliance okay it's a loose fitting appliance it activates the muscles how because it is loose fitting the patient has to bite into the appliance so patient has to bite into this appliance which helps to activate the muscles so every time the patient subconsciously drops out from the appliance he has to bite into it again to activate it so if you see these clasps so we know this is not an activator or a bionator plus there are two separate blocks now bionator as well as activator they are mono blocks that means there is only one acrylic component which is present between the upper and the lower jaw and the patient has to bite into it okay now this is actually a twin block so let us see the characteristic features which help to identify the twin block so other than the fact that there are two separate blocks like you can see here in this image there are two separate blocks which are present which is how it derives its name of twin block so this is extremely helpful for the patient because it is very comfortable the patient can eat the patient can talk while wearing the appliance so because the acrylic components is split the patient can wear this appliance for 24 hours a day okay so first is two blocks the second characteristic feature that you can see here is this presence of this clasp this is a delta clasp now sometimes an adams clasp is given like here in this image however the standard twin block which was given by dr clark that had a delta clasp the delta clasp is characteristic is a very characteristic feature of a twin block so it is uh, usually seen only in a twin block okay so this again is a characteristic feature and the third is this ball and clasp in the anteriors sometimes a label bow may be present sometimes a label bow may be absent so it's an optional feature along with an expansion screw so an expansion screw also so the optional uh, components are label bow and expansion screw okay so these are the features when you see in an appliance you know that this is a twin block appliance so such characteristic features are present in every appliance and these are important to know because those are the basis on which you're going to answer an image based question